a Mesra and get ready with me. First things first, I'm going to start off with testosterone. I'm going to put it on my arms today. I get asked about this applicator a lot, but basically it's from a different brand of testosterone. Um, it's like the top part of it. Um, so that's what it is if you're trying to find it. But honestly, you can just use your hands. I just don't like the texture of it on my hands. This is the trousers that I'm going to be wearing. I got them from Urban Outfitters. I do wear them like mostly every day. I have another pair, but they're in black um, because I really like the fit of them. Like they're very loose and I hate trousers that are high waisted, like hate it. And these just sit just here, which is perfect for me. So I'm going to put these on. I'm going to jump into it here. I think it's Isaac's belt, not going to lie. I don't have any belts. I had this one that had like chains on it, but all the chains got like looped together and all tangled. So I don't wear that one anymore. So now I'm stealing my boyfriend's one. And then for the top, I'm going to wear this. I got this jumper from Urban Outfitters as well, but I think it's um, the Ragged Priest initially. But they like sell it on Urban Outfitters website, I guess. I think that's where I got it from. I recall that being what I did. This is so big. It's so baggy. It's really comfortable. <laughs> this is so fun. You can't see the end of it, but... <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup because I was planning on going to that event today and I had this whole envisionment of what I was gonna wear. I mean, it would have fallen through anyway because I don't know how to iron clothes and it's a bit hard to iron without an ironing board, but I'm putting bio oil on my acne scars because apparently, I mean, it is scar care. Apparently it will make them go down and make them less visible, which is exactly what I want. So I've just been putting it on my face recently and honestly, I feel like I've already seen a difference. I feel like I'm constantly changing what I'm doing with my skincare to see what works. But this, this is going somewhere in the right direction. I find that every time I put acne cream on my acne, like if I just put it on my face, it kind of makes my acne worse. Like, oh wait, I have way too much bio oil here. I'm just gonna like put this in the lid. Yeah, but when I try and do put acne cream on my face, I feel like it, it just, my acne gets worse, it comes back. Um, so that's the revelation that I've discovered. Maybe I'm not using the right stuff, honestly. That's probably the case. Okay, I think I'm first gonna do my hair. So I've got this, got to be beach matte. And then I just spray it in my hair. Oh, I feel like I'm eating it. And it just gives it a bit of a, bit of a texture. Oh, make sure I get it in my eyes. working I think so I've got this cowlick here which is so annoying <laughs> like while my hair's growing out it's just gonna look like that does that look okay I'm gonna go check in the mirror in my room so I used this the other day it's called prime lab advanced derm primer redness eraser I put it on my acne scars and like I was trying to hide it underneath my makeup basically and I think, from what I've seen in the comments, I think you put this on first and then you put concealer over it after you've rubbed it in. I didn't put concealer over it last time. So we're gonna try that and just see what happens. So I'm just gonna probably put it on my hand first. I don't really know what I'm doing, um, but it can't go that wrong, surely. I think the green tones apparently erase the redness. I don't really know the science behind it, but I'm willing to give it a try. I mean, I can still see them. Should I put more on? Because mm. I can completely still see them. I'll just do it again. I'm not really sure on what I'm doing. Let's just... If it looks bad, I'll just wash it off.
I mean, I don't really notice any difference than when I'm not wearing makeup. But it is only a primer, so maybe it's the concealer that really starts getting it to work. I'm not really sure. Let's put the concealer on now. I'm very hopeful about this. Let's just, let's just go crazy with it. Let's go absolutely crazy. <laughs> okay, if this doesn't cover it up, then I guess I'm just uncoverable. And thing is, I don't actually care that much about them being visible. I just want to see if it works. Is that working? Oh. <gasps> Who is he? Oh my God, wait, I think this is working. This is gonna be one of those moments where I do my makeup on camera and then I like step into the real world and it just looks absolutely awful. Like the reason why you can't see my acne scars is because I've got so much makeup on my face. I think it's gonna be a little bit like that. Isaac gets home from work in like 15 minutes and he's just gonna see me and be like, what is on your face? Why are you wearing 15 million layers of makeup? Now actually onto the foundation. Honestly, my face does look <laughs> covered. It's okay because when we add blush, it adds extra dimensions. And <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about here. There's no point in me trying to act like I do know what I'm talking about. Just wanna put foundation on. Oh, I'll show you the foundation I'm using. It's NYX Professional Makeup. Bear with me, blur. And I'm just gonna tap it in. God, this is like, the goal I have when I do my makeup, like when I do like the base and stuff, is for it to look like I'm not really wearing much. So I don't really think that that's the vibe I'm going for today. Just coincidentally, why is my face so pale? There's not one blemish on this face. But it's also really pet. What is going on? Okay, right, I need to sort this out. What on earth? I'm gonna go look in the mirror over there and see how I can fix this. Upon inspection, it's actually not that bad. I think once I add the blush, it will just, everything will come together. What's my moustache looking like? He's looking big, big and fluffy, just as I want him. This is... Florence by Mills blush. I've obviously spilt something on it. I think that's eyeliner or something. I'm just gonna put this on my nose. I'm gonna go quite heavy with it because I really need something else on my face other than foundation and primer. <laughs> oh, I saw this technique um, where you do like two lines of concealer on the blush. Not that I really need any more concealer, but I think it helps it blend. I'm not really sure. I saw it on TikTok and I've been doing it ever since and it does make it look nice. So I'm just gonna dab. Dabbing it in. Oh, that looks pretty. See, this is this part of the makeup that I'm actually sure about. Like I'm like, yes, I, I know that this is gonna look okay. And then just rub it into my nose. Yeah. That looks nice. So I'm gonna use this palette. I've had this for ages, hence why it looks like this. Um, but I'm gonna do some blue eyeshadow. I know, quite, quite bold of me. With blue eyeliner, which I think is gonna look really good. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put blue eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use my fingers because I don't actually have any makeup brushes. Um, I'm just gonna put it like in here. Just in, I don't know what to call this bit. In the inner eye. And then I'm just gonna put a little lighter one just next to it. Just blend it out. I think that looks pretty. And then with the eyeliner, that should look better. I'm gonna wash my hands so I can do this a bit better. So what should we draw with the blue eyeliner? I'm not sure. I think maybe stars. Stars always go well. I mean, I know what I'm doing with stars. Um, I could do stars on my nose. Blue stars on my nose? Maybe, let's just try it. Ooh, how do I know that it's in the middle?
Honestly, if this camera didn't have a viewfinder, I would struggle so hard. I feel like that's the middle of my nose. Oh, I don't know, actually. I'm gonna check, one moment. It was, in fact, completely not the middle of my nose. So now I've put it, so it is the middle of my nose. I'm hoping I can carry this on and actually make it correct. Success so far. We've nearly finished one star. Wait, that looks so sweet. Oh. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing as before where I go and look in the mirror properly and mark in the lines. Alexa, turn the light off. Thank you. Makes me feel like a magician, even though like, I specifically bought a light that works with Alexa. <laughs> I have marked out two dots for where it needs to go. So hopefully I'm able to do that right now. This is proving trickier than last time. Just need to extend this one. The weather today in Brighton is so temperamental recently. Like one moment it's literally sunny and it's lovely and you'll go out with just a t-shirt on and the next minute, thunderstorm, it's raining. Like, oh, it's so annoying. Oh my god, another star has been created. I think I need to just like redefine the edges and then it should be okay. That's so cute. I really like the colour of this eyeliner. I've never found a blue eyeliner that's so like light. Like I've had blue eyeliners before, but they've been like really like dark blue ones. But this one's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna do the last star now above the other star I just did. Okay, that looks in line. Like, that all looks in the same region. <laughs> so this is what my nose looks like. Honestly, I'm really happy with this makeup. I think I'm gonna put some mascara on and then for the makeup, I'll be done. I've probably had this mascara for fucking ages and I will try to get a new one, but the new one just, there's too much in it. Like, I kind of like the had it for two years effect. <laughs> Cause when I buy new mascaras, there's just a little bit too much like stuff in here. And then it like comes out and it's all horrible. Gotta like stare. Get those eyelashes all lovely and big. Mm, I feel like this one's bigger than that one. Maybe I have longer eyelashes on my right eye than my left eye. Can eyelashes grow at different rates? I guess so. But I don't know why one would grow on one eye more than the other one. I don't know why, but doing this face helps. I don't think I can do it otherwise. Wait. No. Where's my lip balm? Oh my God, I was wondering why I felt so like stressed. Lip balm, this is my savior. I don't know how long I've been best friends with him, but can't live without it. If I leave the house and I've forgotten it, I have to buy a new one. Like it's genuine addiction. Thinking necklaces, which one should I wear? So we've got the strawberry. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna wear him. Or the star. Honestly, both of them work, but I don't tend to like to wear two necklaces at once because it feels like a lot on my neck. <laughs> I wanna be able to see it. I don't want it to go under my jumper. Yeah, that's perfect. I don't think I'm gonna wear any rings today. I'm not feeling in a ring mood today. Sometimes when I wear rings, it feels like they're suffocating my fingers and other times I'm like, I feel amazing with them on. Um, but yeah, a lot of the time, I feel like I'm being strangled by my fingers. <laughs> For Christmas, I got myself an advent calendar that had like lots of little bottles of perfume. And this is one of them. It's called Wood D Squared 2. No idea. Um, but it smells wonderful. And I have a lot of little bottles. And it's nice to like see which ones I like so that then at some point when they run out, I know what I want a big version of. Ta-da, now I smell wonderful. And look wonderful. Thank you for joining me in my get ready with me. It's been wonderful. Please subscribe if you don't already and have a wonderful day.